Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm gonna show you uh, for the PC++ uh, programming. Uh, so in order to execute the LDP tasks uh, or uh, the isolated tasks, we use uh, for loop, while loop, or uh, do while loop. Uh, so from those uh, basic three parts, in order to uh, execute every instruction or any type of tasks which are loop or iteration, we will use for loop, while loop, and do while loop. So uh, on today's video, we see uh, the basic structure or the basic uh, concept of a for loop with uh, three or two examples uh, in C++ programming. Uh, so uh, let's begin. For loop uh, is the syntax or the general uh, structure for loop is syntax for this one. Uh, that the keyword is for then initialization or uh, give initial uh, value for uh, the variable, for instance, int uh, n uh, as equals to zero. Uh, the variable in uh, initial value is equals to zero, or uh, you can give any different values. So initialization, then separated by a comma, semicolon, then there is a condition or the test of the expression, then uh, semicolon, uh, auto increment or auto decrement based on your instruction under the uh, parentheses or uh, inside of the parentheses, you must be uh, including these three contents. These are the format. Then uh, within the curly brackets, uh, the body of the loop that we want to execute. These are the flowchart, how uh, the for loops work. For instance, there is an initialization, uh, initial uh, variable. Within this initial variable, firstly check the condition if it is true or false. If the condition is true, uh, loop of the body or this statement is executed one time, then uh, auto increment. If your instruction is auto increment, uh, then uh, we uh, calculate auto increment or increasing uh, the uh, value or the initial uh, value. Or if it is instruction is auto decrement decrease uh, that in instruction that means up, update of uh, the loop then uh, come back again uh, on the condition or or test on the expression if this condition is again it's true the loop of the body is executed and this iteration or the loop of the body is continued till this condition is false. If this condition is false, uh, directly leave from uh, the loop and display the result or execute the next instruction if there is. So if this condition is true for instance, there is an initial value. Uh, within this initial value, first check the condition. If this condition is true, uh, this segment of the body is executed one time, then come back on here. Uh, auto increment or auto decrement is performed, uh, then check the condition. If this condition is true, then uh, come back again over here. Uh, then when the condition is false, simply leave from this curly bracket and come on the next instruction if any type of instruction is are there. So what are the advantage of uh, with loop statements or iteration? Uh, code should be shorter and take uh, the less uh, memory. So uh, the code uh, uh, is uh, shorter or easy, uh, and also it requires uh, a small amount of uh, memory. So there are three types of loops in C++ programming, or uh, any other one, it may be Java, Python, uh, those are a for loop, while loop, and the do while loop. On today's video, we uh, only cover the for loop, and on next uh, uh, session, we will see a while loop and do a while loop. So let's see uh, some instruction. For instance, there is some exercise, uh, print, uh, the word yes uh, five times with a uh, for loop. These are the first instruction. Uh, print uh, and assist display uh, the word of yes uh, five times uh, on the screen. Uh, 
uh, with the for loop. So how can we uh, print the word yes five times with the word of uh, for loop? Uh, so uh, let's write on here. Uh, these are the general structure when you open uh, the code block editor in C++ programming, uh, or you can write by yourself on here. So uh, first we declare uh, use. Uh, the keyword of for and under the parentheses there is uh, initialization condition and auto increment or auto uh, decrement. For instance, int uh, uh, i i uh, z equals to one, then a semicolon. I uh, less than or equals to uh, five, then semicolon. Uh, I uh, plus plus. So uh, these are uh, for instance the uh, variable is i. Uh, the initial value for i is 1, the data type is integer. Uh, this is uh, the counter that I want in order to display uh, the word yes five times. So uh, i less than or equals to 5, or this condition is count till uh, the value of i is uh, become a 5, and this i plus plus is the i value is increased by 1. At every time, then uh, we open this curly brackets in order to execute the body of the loop. Then uh, see out because uh, in order to display the word yes, this yes, uh, the word yes is a string constant uh, because uh, this is uh, the word or the text which are uh, the collection of three characters y, e, and s. In order to display this uh, yes word, uh, we use a double quote because it's a string constant. So uh, see out, then under the double quote, write uh, yes. Then uh, uh, we uh, use the keyword in, the, in order to begin the new line or uh, execute the word yes uh, in line by line. Uh, so. Uh, uh, for the instance, how let me tell you how it works. For instance, uh, the initial value of i is one. Then i less than first we check the condition with this initial value. Uh, i is equals to one. Then i less than or equals to five. Yes, this condition is to go. Then see out yes. Yes is display one times and ending is begin the next instruction on the new line. Then after we display yes one times, we can on here, which are auto increment. Then I plus plus in essence, I is equals to I plus one, right? I is equals to I plus one. So the I value is one, then I plus plus uh, in essence, uh, add one value from the initial value of one. So the I value is two, then uh, 2 is less than or equal to 5, yes, this condition is to come back on uh, this loop, then see out, yes. Then uh, come back on this auto incremental again, the i value is 2, then uh, we add one value because i plus plus is also increased. This uh, is a counter or we can use or substitute the, word, the variable i by use a count, right? So uh, the I value is three, so three less than or equals to five. Yes, then see out. Yes, again three times. Then the I value is increased, which are three plus one four for less than or equals to five. Yes, uh, see out. Yes, right. Then uh, the I value is increased. Four plus one is five. Five less than or equals to uh, five. Yes, five less than or equals to uh, five. Yes, it's true. Then then see out. Yes. Uh, finally. The i value is increased again, so 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 less than equals to 5, 4, so uh, simply leave from this loop and display the result. Uh, that is the general structure or the uh, working principle for, uh, for loop in plus plus programming. This is, uh, for instance, when you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so uh, print the word yes uh, five times with the for loop, it seems like for this one. Uh, the second instruction is, uh, the second instruction is uh, write a program to print uh, all uh, the all numbers, right? Uh, write a program to print, in a sense, a display on the screen, right? Uh, all or numbers from 1 to 100, or the numbers between 1 and 100 using the for loop. This is a simple instruction. So how can we write this program in order to print, in order to execute the C++ uh, program? Uh, 
for the, uh, in the stance, uh, the odd numbers is uh, the odd numbers is uh, one, uh, three, uh, five, uh, seven, uh, nine till uh, ninety uh, nine because it says one to one hundred, right? So uh, one to one hundred uh, display on the screen or print on the screen. That means one. So the uh, five till uh, ninety nine with a for loop. These are a simple instruction that uh, uh, is adequate by using the for loop. So how can we write this program? For instance, for int is equals to one, then I less than equals to one hundred, one hundred. Then I plus plus. For instance, when uh, these are uh, uh, not a text right uh, rather than simply I can use I. This instruction display uh, one up to 100, right? It's not even, it's not all simply display or count the number one to 100. For instance, let me show uh, this one. So as you have seen on here, it counts one to 100, but the instruction is display only odd numbers. So how can we write these odd numbers? So we can adjust this one i is equals to i is equals to uh, i plus two, right? The auto increment is by two at every iteration for the instant. Let me show how it works. For int i is equals to one, the initial value uh, i is equals to one, then uh, then the initial value of i is equals to one, then one less than or equal to 100? Yes, it is true. Then see out i. The value of i is 1. Then we display 1. Then i is equal to i plus 1. Because after we execute this instruction one time, this, the auto increment is performed, right? Then i is equal to i plus 2. Then the i value is 1. Then 1 plus 2 is 3. Then check the condition. 3 less than or equal to 100. So it is correct. So see out i. The i value right now is 3. So we display 3. Then come back again on here to. Uh, then the i value is 3. So i is equal to i plus 2. Then 3 plus 2, the i value it becomes 5. 5 less than or equal to 100. Yes. Then see out i. 5 is display. After that, the i value is 5. 5 plus 2, 7. The i value right now is 7. 7 less than or equals to 100. So we can write by using this single line of sentence to count uh, the only old number from 1 to 100. Let me show you how it works. For instance, as we have seen on here, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. These are all numbers. For the instance, let me show you how to uh, count the even numbers. For instance, if this instruction is uh, changed to even number, uh, the initial value i is uh, 2, the initial value i is 2, then even number between 1 and 100, right? How can we write a CPAS program? If the instruction is changed, count the even number between 1 and 100. The initial value is i right now. Then 2 less than or equals to 100 is correct. So see out i. Then display 2. After that, this i value is auto increment is performance. So the i is equals to i plus 2. The value of i is 2. Then 2 plus 2 is 4. So i is equals to 4. So 4 less than or equals to 100 is correct. The condition is true. Then see out i. What is the value of i? 4. Then after we display 4, the i value is also increased. Then because sequentially, the instruction is executed. So in order to display the even number from 1 to 100, it's also seems like for uh, this one, right? For instance, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, all are these uh, even uh, numbers. Uh, the uh, last instruction that I want to uh, show you is write a program to print the table of 10 using for loop. This instruction is the multiplication of 10 using 
for loop. How can we uh, display this program? Let me write again. Uh, this one stands uh, for um, int uh, i as equals to uh, one. Then uh, I must be right i. In i z uh, equals to 10, then i uh, less than or equals to less than or equals to 9, then uh, i plus plus. After we write this one on the curly bracket, uh, c out, c out, i, then uh, we can write uh, this one. Uh, in order to begin the a new uh, give uh, the space uh, on the right and the left, we can use uh, backslash with t, uh, t giving the space uh, uh, after execute the first instruction in horizontal line. Then uh, we can write the multiplication, the multiplication or the table of uh, ten i times i times uh, ten uh, then. Uh, in the uh, begin the new line, right? Uh, so these are uh, a simple instruction. Uh, these are a simple uh, C plus plus program to display the table of ten. For instance, let me uh, explain it. Uh, the initial value of i is one. Then i less than or equals to uh, 9, then i plus plus. These are the general uh, syntax. Then see how the i. The i value is 1. The uh, initial value of i is 1. For instance, i is equals to 1. Then check the condition. 1 less than or equals to 9. It's true. Then backslash with t, giving the space after I write uh, the first instruction on horizontally on the right side, then i times 10. The i value is 1, 1 times 10, 10. So the multiplication of 10 from 1 to 9 is displayed uh, when we execute this uh, instruction. This is seems like for this one. 1, the multiplication of 1 is 10. The multiplication of 1 for 10 is 10. The multiplication of 2 is 20. The multiplication of uh, 3 is uh, 30. So 1 up to 9 multiplication of 10 is seems like 4. Uh, this one. Why there is uh, the space between this one and this one? Backward slash with t gives the space. And indel or backward, backward slash with n is giving uh, the, a new line after execute the first in this direction. Uh, I hope this uh, is uh, very uh, clear uh, based on uh, what I'm saying and what I do uh, for uh, the general structure as well as uh, the basic concept of this for loop within uh, the work examples. Uh, so uh, uh, please like, subscribe, and comment my YouTube channel. If you have any comment, suggestion, uh, you can write on the description uh, box, even the question that you want to ask us that uh, is related to this concept, you can write on the description uh, box. Uh, so uh, have a nice time. Love you guys. Bye.